Hi, PhilosTube. I'm Lori Shekalone, and welcome to Once Upon a Stitch. Today is Monday, February 1st, 2021. Happy Love Month. Uh, yes, that's why I'm wearing red for Valentine's Day. Um, I probably won't be here for Valentine's Day, but I'll be back like maybe a day or two after uh, to give you an update at that point. But it is my 68th Floss Tube. Um, so thank you so much for being with me from the beginning and any new people that join along the way. I'm always grateful to have new subscribers and be able to share with you my stitching. And when you give me feedback about your stitching, I'm equally excited uh, to hear what you've been up to and what maybe we'd be, we would be stitching together. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you for the congratulations of um, becoming a grandma again. Well, grandma to be again. Um, we have a long way to go, but um, I saw the kids this weekend. Actually, I had both my sons and their wives and Caleb over for uh, to celebrate my husband's birthday, which was a week ago, but we he was busy helping James um, move and do things um, from his apartment to his house, and now he's in the house, the apartment is totally gone. So he and Amy um, will begin their next chapter in their new home. So um, so anyway, we celebrated um, this past Saturday, and it was it was so it's always great to get together with them and you know have a few laughs. They love to pick on mom, so um, it's always fun. So that's what that's what I've been up to here. Um, I have a few things that I want to talk about, some um, new stuff, and then I'm going to go into any FFOs I have. I have some previous FFOs to show you. Um, then I'll go into my whips, and um, that's what I forget. I have notes all over here because the last, I think the last two videos, I just forgot to show you my haul. And I haven't been, I haven't even opened the back box the bags I guess the envelopes that that come in and um, I'm here to sh share it with you if you're so interested so I'll keep that to the end so that's why I have notes here so I don't forget okay uh, the first thing I'd like to uh, share with you was a present that I got from one of the members of our stitching group which is Helen um, she made something for each one of us um, and this was mine isn't he adorable? Now, when I see this, I just so admire it because it's done on a 40 count um, linen. And I, like I said to her, I said, this is a bazillion to me because there's no way I would ever be able to, you know, work on a 40 count. And I, I, I spoke my message into my phone um, and it came out a Brazilian times <laughs> instead of a bazillion count. So, um, yeah, it's not a Brazilian, it's a bazillion count to me. So that was her gift to me. And she put little, um, jingle bells inside and I just love this. I have, I'm keeping it out all winter. I just brought it up here to share it with you. Um, I, and I, we just, I just took down my, the rest of my Christmas decorations. I kept them up longer, um, because I just enjoy them. So I have some Christmas cards that um, viewers have sent to me and I just wanted to share them really, really quickly because I appreciate them and the time they took to, to send them. So this is from Crafty Kim, Kim in Canada. This is from Barbara's daughter, Kim, on Floss 2. This is Dee Abrams and her husband, Bruce. They watch a lot of floss tubes, so you might know her by her making comments on your videos. This is from a viewer, Madonna. I believe she won one of my giveaways, but I mean, that's the only way I can think she um, got my address. This is from Nicole Buckeye Stitcher, a Christmas card, a postcard. This is from Cindy's Cross Stitch. This one is so adorable. I have to show you the inside, but I can't show you the. Look at that little truck. This is from Kathy to Die House. This is from my friend Terry, who's in our stitching group. Arlene Cohen from Works by ABC. 
uh, Regina in our my stitching group. This is from a viewer, Mary. Caleb loved this because I have a giraffe magnet on the refrigerator and you know I try to teach him the animals and I always when I mention the giraffe I always mention the long neck. This is also from Terry when she gave um, when we did the swap, the Christmas swap. Okay, those are those. So and then I got a lovely, lovely thank you note um, from Marilyn, who won my last giveaway. And she sh she printed out the pattern that I had trouble printing out. She printed it out for me. It's a freebie. And I spoke about it in the last video. And then she printed out uh, this one from the Little Stitcher newsletter. Um, it's a, oh, it's a snowman. It says, welcome. So thank you so much, Marilyn. I love these. And I really appreciate the thought that you um, took the time to do that for me. So thank you again. Alrighty. So what am I going to share with you next? It arrived. This was the box that it was in. And this is the Patoki stand. And it's not in here now. It's right next to me. But I wanted to show you that this lid was screwed in with these long, long screws to hold it in place. And then it was nestled, literally, in a felt bag, and then nestled with more felt to hold it from side to side and top to bottom so that it wouldn't move in transit. And it came with a lovely card from Liz, Deb, and Belt Patoki. Liz and Deb from Country Stitchers, who held the giveaway, and Vel Patoki, the maker of the Patoki stand. And I'd love to share it with you right now. So let me just move the box over. And here is my Patoki stand. And I've been using it ever since I've gotten it, and I have totally enjoyed it. Um, okay, the mechanism goes like stands up like this and you have an option. Now this sits on my lap. Um, I'm not a person who would stitch on a table or anything in front of me. Um, I actually stitch either, I was holding my um, few snap or a hoop and I would work from there. So this is perfect because, now I brought out a larger few snap to show you that you, you put it in here and you tighten this top piece and you have um, you can adjust the way you'd like your cue snap to be and the reason I'm showing you with the larger one and then you tighten this one now if if that's how you like it that's fine you tighten the bottom if you like it more tilted you just move the arm and then you tighten it at that point. And then it's at an angle. And I love stitching two-handed. I, um, I I do it even when I like used to hold the uh, Q-snap, I kind of try to rest it on something. So this is perfect. And then when you have to end your thread, I always end in the back. And now, obviously this is a 17 by 11. But in 11-11, you can actually flip it all the way around and bury your threads. With the longer hoop, um, Q-snap, you just do it halfway, either side, and then you bury your thread, snip it, and then turn it again. Um, it moves very easily, as you can see, and it stays in place. Like, I'm not holding the Q-snap or anything, and this is a larger one, so it stays in place. Um, I've used it with a grime guard and it held it in place as well. You know, I thought maybe with the grime guard it might slip, but it didn't. Um, the only thing is you cannot use it, like for instance, if I was stitching on my heartstring samplery, his eye is on the sparrow in the center of the piece where I had a lot of fabric up here, that would not um, fit in here securely enough to hold it in place. But I have to say that I'm really, really happy with, with 
the stand itself. The quality is beautiful. This is just a little piece of fabric dust. Um, it's beautifully made. It has an indention for the um, Q-snap. And then you just keep tightening it for the tightness that you want. And I like um, pretty much setting this as straight as possible and setting it in my lap. Now I tried stitching in here with it, but it didn't work as well because I'm short in stature. So when I, I have a chair that, uh, <laughs> I have a chair that is higher so I my legs are not flat on the, they can be like if I sit up front they're flat on the floor but but they're at an angle so the stand would slip but in, where I stitch normally in my chair downstairs I don't know it just is the right place to stitch it sits lovely in my lap and I just do 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 and I I found that um when I have a Okay, let's, it's it's the pattern too. If I have block color, I will get a lot more stitching done quickly because I don't have to change the thread so often. So when I when I'm working on with the Potoki stand with that, I really love it because I find that I just keep going and I make wonderful progress. So thank you, Liz Deb from Country Stitchers. Thank you, Mr. Belt Potoki. I love your stand. I would recommend it for people who like to stitch on in their lap. And um, I'm going to be sharing this with my uh, local needlework store. He had told me to bring it in when I, when I received it because he'd like to see it. He never saw it, he never heard of it. So I will be sh uh, bringing this in and sharing it with him. And, uh, but not for a week, couple of weeks now <laughs> that I'll be able to get there. Okay. So, excuse me, I just, I, because I'm doing um, a lot of new starts and a lot of large projects, I'm not going to have too many finishes um, to share with you. I have some in the box that I haven't finished from this past year, maybe the year before too, that I would, um, I would like to get done, but um, I know people like to see finishing. So I'm going to show you some previous finishes that I did, and then um, one from that I just finished last year. So this is Heart and Hand, and I don't remember the name of the pattern. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I always forget something. I'll try and look it up and put it in the show notes. And I made this as a little uh, pouch. And I think it's so cute for Valentine's Day. And then this was a Lizzie Kate Sweet Tidings. And this was a winter one, but they did have a sweetheart little um, pattern there. And then this was also, oh, this was Lizzie Kate. Did I say this was Lizzie Kate? This was Lizzie Kate, sweet tidings. And it was the winter tidings. I don't know if I said that correctly. And if I ever misspeak, I always watch my videos back. And if I say something wrong and I catch it in my video, I will make, I will put it in the show, show notes below. Um, and I apologize, but you know, things happen. This is uh, Lizzie Kate. This was her Flip It series and that was for February. I shouldn't even show this because I don't remember the name of the pattern for this. Um, but my daughter-in-law has the pattern and there were all different hearts. And the, the, I made this in 1980-something when I uh, first moved to New Jersey. There was a needlework store right in town. Um, but I, I bought very few patterns and I had nobody to share the hobby with. So, and then they closed and I lost I guess my mojo at that time. I didn't do many things, but um, I made this little pillow. This was uh, Little House Needleworks, their monthly house se cottage series, and this is February. And this would be considered like the key to my heart. And the heart is up here. I love charm of a heart. And I put this on a stand. I swap them out every 
every month. Um, January's will come out today and February will go in. And I just want to move these because I'm going to have a lot to show you. This was um, Kathy Haberman's Year of Celebration. And this was her February block. And at first I couldn't, I, could, I didn't know what these were. I, and then I realized they were a box of chocolates. Because I'm saying, why would you stitch brown? <laughs> and, and then it dawned on me, chocolate. And the um, Just Cross Stitch Magazine, um, there's a Facebook group that sponsors a ornament of the of the month from the magazine and February's yeah I'm a, I'm a month ahead February's was called Santa Claus by Autumn Lane Stitchery and this is stitched on a 28 count moon glow by picture this plus and I work on these patterns um, Christmas patterns when Caleb naps when I'm babysitting for him and he takes a nice nap he basically he's down to one nap now so it could be like almost two hours so those two hours I try to get some uh, stitching done and it's just with some buffalo plaid and the jingle bells and I was going to put a snowflake on here but I didn't like the way it was it was just a bit much so I just put the jingle bells and now I'll post him in the um, Just Cross Stitch Facebook group. And then this finish I finished since we were last together. And this is the Abbey Rhodes Sweet Summer. <laughs> Another note, haul. Don't forget your haul. Um, this is the pattern. And I finished her in a frame. So I lace, I actually, I, I use double-sided acid-free tape on two of the sides and then I lace the other side. And I did not stitch the border around. I just liked it plain. And somebody um, made a comment that they appreciated that I told them what fabrics I used. This was, um, I think this was that metal, it's either Springfield Sage or Meadow Rue. No, Meadow Rue is too dark. It must be Springfield Sage. Um, uh, the fabrics, I don't usually use the call for fabrics. Um, I basically get my fabric at needle workers 90% of the time. Occasionally I'll pick up something from 123 Stitch and it's usually a picture of this plus fabric. I don't stitch on linen. It's usually an even, even weave. But they mentioned that they like to know what threads I'm using. Uh, if, if I remember, or if it's different, I will share it with you. But 99% of the time, I use, usually use the call for colors. Um, if I have them, if it's like a hand dyed floss, I'll use it. If I don't, I'll swap it out for the DMC equivalent of it. But um, I always use the call for it. Occasionally, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll swap it up and I will try to remember to share that with you. Okay, I'm going to go into my giveaways. And this was a giveaway in my last video. And it was um, Abbey Rose Sweet Summer. And the question uh, that I asked of, um, of you was, what is the next pattern that's on your wish list? wish list that you'd like to purchase and I had shared that mine was um, G, G Legere by Reflex the Soi and I ordered it th uh, through my Needleworkers Delight store. I don't know when it'll come in. Um, I wouldn't probably start it this year anyway. It'd probably be a next year's start but um, I ordered it. So and the winner of this pattern is Darlene Beretta. Barata. Um, I put a message on her message to me. Uh, she already got back to me. I have her envelope ready and after this video I will get it into the envelope ready to go but it'll be a couple of days till I get out to mail it. Even though um, 
I had gone to the post office and got special stamps just for that size envelope um, by the time I get out there. Um, and then I have Caleb three days this week, so it uh, might not be till the weekend that I get to put it in the mail. And then the next uh, pattern that I'm giving away was by Plum Street Samplers, and that was Peace, Love, and Purpose. And the winner to that one is Sprinklestein Stitches. And she said she would like to stitch a hats design. And at first I'm thinking, what's a hats design? Is it like hats? Like, you know, witch hats? At first I couldn't figure it out. And then it, then I'm thinking, like, could it be a designer? And could it be hands across the sea? Uh, probably. So I think she was talking about hands across the sea designs that she would like to purchase one of those. And I'm going to be starting my very first one in April, and that's going to be Mary Clayton. So stay tuned for that. So I'm, um, I did put a message on um, hers, but I haven't heard back yet. So maybe she just waits um, to see it on Floss Tube, and she'll send me um, her address. All right. Let's see. I think I have everything that I wrote down. Yes. Okay. On to my whips. And these were definitely whips um, the half, latter half of the month. The beginning of the month is when I do my new starts. Okay. This is Cottage Garden Sampler Rings. Sampler Rings. Sampler? Samplings. It's been, a, it's been a weekend, let me tell you. I have broken three glasses. Two of them just by like accidentally tipping it over. <laughs> My husband says, what's wrong with you? <sighs> okay, this is called Forever and Ever. I started this last February for Love Month, um, and I hadn't picked it up much at all. But um, And that's another thing I started sharing with you, what my goal is on each of the projects for the year. And my goal on this is to complete the large flower and the male cardinal. So this is, okay, this is where I, so the last time you saw it, I had stitched the flower, but it's still not filled in. What I decided to do was to go down and start the cardinal. I think he is so beautiful. So, um, so that's the goal for the year is to get this cardinal done and this, and then if I have an opportunity to, um, of selecting it again in a later in the year month, because what I, you know, I try to do so many months on each project because I have so many projects I will be having. So I will. Um, if something gets accomplished and I still have a slot open, um, so I'll, you know, I'll stick something that I would like to work on. And maybe that would be one of it. Okay, the next one I picked up was the Frosted Pumpkin, Once Upon a Time. Let's see if I, I have a, the overlight on and I have an ot light in front of me. So um, hopefully you'll get good pictures of that without too much glare and my goal on this is to get July oh, June July and September done and you're saying why not October I think October is done <laughs> and I am playing chicken on the bottom with the border but it does fit um, so I I did the June block and I did part of the border and that would be uh, the princess and the pea and this is done with all DMC this is an 16 count to bloom by picture this plus the forever and ever was done on ice blue Lugana 28 count sorry with all the call for uh, DMC So th um, three blocks on that one, and I will be a happy camper this year. The next one is 
I think I told you the last time I worked on this that I needed to order thread for it because um, I couldn't, I couldn't, this is, let me show you the pattern first. This is Holiday Quaker. I call it Christmas Quaker because I, instead of writing Happy Holidays, I wrote Merry, I stitched in Merry Christmas. And um, this motif here, the out, the round circle around it, the leaves, I ran out of, um, what is it called? Cucumber. And I says, oh, I have to order it. So I placed an order with one, two, three stitch, the whole bit. And then I says, did I order the cucumber? So I had to order, I could do another order. And this time I ordered, uh, it came, I think it came in. I didn't even open the box, the envelope. But here is Holiday Quaker. You stand up, it'll be a little bit easier for me. So these snowmen here, this is the section that I'm missing. And since you last seen it, I finished the moon, these, I guess, blue and white snowflakes, the gold one. So what I have left now is to finish this motif and then the house is here. And I believe it's just a few more snowflakes. So I'm hoping, if not the next, um, time I pick this up but the time after that it'll be a finish so definitely a finish for this year is my goal on this okay. then uh, this goal is also for a finish this year and then when I um, was stitching on it I'm saying maybe I made a mistake in making this a goal but it's not that I have that much left but anyway it's um, Joan Elliott's Joyful Snowman Stocking. And, and I worked on this last week. And uh, Saturday night, we have a bingo pull. And when you, your number uh, is chosen and you have a, a pattern to stitch in, you have to stitch 200 stitches. So I had just put this away last week and Saturday they called it for my bingo number. So I have to put in at least 200 stitches. And since you've last seen, I did all the outlining, uh, the star and the outlining of the star, his shoe. And that, then the, a package goes here and the start of this little check. I, there's no outlining done yet on these things. And then I have to come down and do the packages and then so 200 stitches and then and it's it's like kind of like confetti you know the sections with the um, boxes it um, it'll use two or three different colors and so it'll take me a little bit longer to get in those 200 stitches but I have to do it this week so this is in my radar for this week I'm standing so that I can show you the projects without up and down. I know the camera clicks when it's, it focuses. Um, the next one I worked on is His Eyes on the Sparrow, and this is done on a 28 count Lugana in Heritage. And I am using the pull for over dies. Now, when Beth twist, when Beth twist uh, spoke about this, she stitched hers on a 28 count using one thread over two. Um, I'm using two over two, so it takes a lot more threads. So moving forward, I think what I'm going to do, like, um, the, like things that are around the whole border, like I'm definitely going to use the same threads for that to keep it uniform. But if it's an, an animal of some sort that I need to stitch and I run out of a hand dyed, I might substitute the DMC for it because animals don't have to um, really match to me and I'm fine with it. And um, it has the call for, okay, 
So, this is what I did since last time we spoke. I did the three flowers. I brought down the border to the words, um, but I didn't finish the words yet. And I did these motifs in here. So my goal for this year is to stitch this whole section and the words. And I will be um, a happy camper Just because look how large this thing is. It doesn't even fit in the frame. I'd have to stay stand way away, but um, it is a beautiful piece and it's going to take me a while to finish it, but it will get done. It will most likely be a wall hanging. Um, as, as those of you who've been following me, I have not sent anything out to be framed. Everything that um, is framed is framed by me. Um, I just, you know, I, sometimes I think I priced one or two items that I thought to have framed. And when I got, you know, I'm retired. So my, my money has to go to purchasing of the fabric and threads and patterns. So, but it's okay. I'm okay with that. This was not the last one, is it? No. This one went before it. This is Rosewood Manor Buckleberry Sampler. And the reason I fell in love with this pattern is because I saw it, Deb from Country Stitchers, stitching on this. And I thought it looked so beautiful. I don't think the picture, I mean, the picture is nice, but I don't think it gives you the beauty of the piece. Um, but when I saw her stitching on it, it was really, really beautiful. Um, but Deb, I haven't seen you stitch on this for a while. Come on, get it out. I want to see how far you got. <laughs> so um, I stitched on it. And I think I made some good progress this time. Let me get the smaller board. Uh, let's see. Holiday Quaker. <laughs> going back 28 count Lugana it was dyed by needleworkers it didn't have a name Joan Elliott's snowman stockings 28 count white Lugana um, heartstring sampling I told you that was the heritage and this is stitched on 28 count I believe it's ivory I just I don't have it in my notes Hmm. Um, I will put this in the show notes on the bottom. And what I finished was I finished the J. I had the top part up to about here and this flower minus this. So I finished that, brought up, finished the J, make, put this motif in, filled in this center one. K, L, and M did these motifs, started the N. So my goal was to finish everything from the J to the O for this year. But then I realized that there's motifs in here that go down further. So I'm going to consider that also as my goal for the year, um, to stitch those motifs. I can bring it closer. Um, like right in here. Let's try to get those motifs done this for this year. And then, um, and then see where I get from there. If I have time to work on it more, I will. And there's one kind of orange that I overfill oh, down. Here it is, I'm sorry. I worked on Sunny Side Sampler by the Drawn Thread. And this is done on a 20 out, 28 count mushroom Lugana. And um, it's called for silks, a lot of um, dinky dyes and needlework silks. I'm doing the, some of them gave me, when I went on the website, she gave the equivalent in hand dyed and some not at all. So I kind of like looked up some and got the DMC colors for it. So it's kind of like my own choosing after I couldn't find exactly the colors that were called for. So, this is where I am right now. 
I will not be doing any of the words or the alphabet. I just like the, um, the street. And I like that the trees come forward. And I mean, there were, you know, the alphabet that went on the bottom, but I just like it the way it is. It gives it a more 3D effect. So what I've stitched since last time we were together is this house, the sunflowers, and this tree with the fence. And a bird. So I think I have like four more houses to go. But I hope I have enough fabric. If not, one house gets left off. But the idea is, I think I measured correctly. So um, the goal on this one is a finish for the year, at the end of the year. And the last one on the 31st of January, I worked on Calico Confectionery, Once in a Blue Moon, and that's the pattern. And I met my goal, I finished it. And this is done on a 16 count shale by Picture This Plus. And I changed the color of the leaves. The leaves were supposed to be this bright pumpkin color but I decided to do them uh, more of a rust. So I just picked a DMC. I still have the colors here, I haven't put them away. I did a 920 on the uh, leaves. And for the moon, I think I did the call for um, 161. Yeah, 160 DMC, these are all DMC colors. So everything else was the call pretty much the call for except the leaves. I decided to do it. Um, and this pattern was uh, gifted to everyone in our group by Helen. Um, so thank you, Helen. It was a fun stitch. And um, I'm glad I can um, eventually finish it and you know have it around to see it all the time. Okay, that's it for what I have been stitching. Now, um, February, I have three new starts planned. I'm only going to show you the first one that's going to be started today. And that is Heart and Hand Redbird Sampler. And I'm stitching this on a 28 count Ivory Lugana. And I am using Lancaster Red by Weeks Dye Works. This, it shows it's showing a little bit wider than it actually is. Yeah, there you go. Now, if you look at the, um, I was trying to figure out how to finish it because it's going to be a pillow, and they use two different fabrics and a beige rickrack. So I went to my stash. And I found, I don't know if I can, I'm going to do that, be able to do this, but this will be the um, top one. This will be the bottom one. And in between it will be the beige rickrack. And uh, I'll show a little bit more of the hearts and probably less of the bottom. And uh, get the, the rickrack in there. That's the plan. It's a beige rickrack, um, a crew maybe. So that's what I'll be starting today. And maybe I will get it done in two days. Um, it's not that much stitching. I think the, um, the bluebird one that I finished, uh, I think I did it in three, three days. Like I did the two day rotation and then I think the following month I finished it. Okay, I told you the giveaway winners, and now I have haul. Now, for those of you that don't like seeing somebody else's haul and want to leave at this point, thank you so much for visiting with me. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I hope I was clear enough in describing what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to to um, write them below and I'll either, if they're not too complicated, I'll answer it right back or I will save it for my next video and do a better explanation of it.
So thank you and see you soon, but stay tuned if you want to see Hall. Okay. The first was from 123 Stitch. And I had shown um, a piece a band sampler that I did by Work by ABC and I didn't like the hanger that I used and somebody mentioned to make my own cording for the hanger. So I remember that, uh, you know, Vonda Pfeiffer always showed how to do it and I was always tempted to do it. Um, but I made it more easy for me to do it because I bought what was needed. It's a Krynic, what's it called? Custom curler? Quarter, custom quarter. Um, and this is what Vana uses, and she has a tutorial, um, Vana the Twisted Stitcher, and she has a tutorial on how to use this. So, um, I, I know I need a hook, and um, hopefully my husband will help accommodate me with that. And I bought some threads um, that came in, and this is the one order that I didn't order the correct well, the, the cucumber that I needed, but uh, these were other threads that I needed for my project. I'm not kidding anything extra um, other than what I'm planning to stitch this year. Now, I, I explained to you that I will be stitching those Christmas ornaments when Caleb sleeps, but I also have to include in there, we did a Christmas giveaway with our group, Exchange, and um, we're doing it again this year for, for uh, the holidays. I say Christmas, but I meant holidays because we have other um, people that do not cel celebrate Christmas in our group. So um, we are doing that giveaway. And then because we enjoyed it so much, we are doing um, one in May and it's going to be a f called a friendship one. So as I'm doing those ornaments, I'm going to try and stitch those two secret stitches um, at that time. I won't be able to share them with you until they're gifted, but this time I'll take pictures because I didn't take pictures the last time. Um, and then I ordered, oh, this came back really bent, but um, Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. I've seen everybody working on this. Um, I do love it and eventually I will work on it. And then I have, um, I have two of these already finished. I think it was Peace and Love. And that's Little House Needleworks, Little Sheep Virtue, and this one's Friendship. And that was one order from them. Then I went to Needleworkers, my local needleworks store, and I purchased 18 count Ada, and it's called Dots. And it's a gray. They have it in a, like a light tan color, and they had the gray. So I took, I selected the gray. I picked up Tiny Modernist Ma Mouse's Christmas Decorating. I thought that was so cute. I picked up, I love this, Be My Valentine by Stitching with the Housewives. Like I want to do, oh, do more things, but I always loved this one. I always loved it when I saw everybody working on it. And um, Miss Bingley's, Bingley's Library by Plum Street. I was never an avid reader growing up. Um, when I was at work, I worked, um, I worked in a high school in the main office and we, we always sp spoke of books, and um, I like knowing a little bit about a book to see if I'm going to, like, the, the theme of it, basically, to see if it's something I would be interested in, uh, because I usually bought the book. So um, I do miss that, and I would read things like that. And I wish I was more of an avid reader, um, but, you know, there's time later on, God willing. So I got some fabric, I mean some threads, and this, I always pick up black 403, especially since uh, for my Templar Prophecy, that's what I used. I picked up um, pins, I 
I thought these were so cute. Um, I picked up a, oh, I don't know what you call these things, a hanger, I guess a hanger that I can do um, maybe some kind of um, bell pull. Um, I, I, you know what, I'm, I'm starting to just buy things so that I have them if I need them. I kind of forgot what I picked up. Some more threads got lost there. I picked up, this is what I want to try, 20, 20 count Ada, um, one over one. I do 18 count. I don't know how much more difficult the 20 count is, but I, I bought um, two different types. Now, for some reason, this feels softer than this one. I know Ada, as you work on it, sometimes it uh, softens up, but they're both 20 count, and I want to um, see how I like it. I got a 20 count light ash gray Lugana and yeah, Lugana, 20 count Lugana to see what the 20 count Lugana is, how it feels compared to the 20 count Ada. This was some more dots that I picked up, 18 count. May I'm planning to do um, some Stitch Mania, another thread. I pick up some sleds to have next Christmas. Oh, I didn't have this one. Um, the hometown holiday pops filling station. You no, know, for some reason I remember always going to the gas station with my father when he needed gas for the car. I, I do remember that from when I was little, and gas was like twenty something, twenty seven cents a gallon. God, am I aging myself. So I got that one. I thought that was really adorable. And then, <sighs> Winds of Autumn. There's so many patterns in here that I would like to stitch. Early Christmas Morning by Blackbird Designs. I don't know. I might try it. I might try it as a pin cushion. Kathy to Die House um, does gorgeous pin, pin, um, pin cushion, drums, and um, hopefully she can help me, talk me through it. And then I picked up some perforated paper from ornaments for the sleds. And then I got an order from One Two Three Stitch. This was. I had to order um, that cucumber. I'm telling you, I didn't even open this because I said, you're supposed to show it before you. Um, use it. So I'm hoping that cucumber matches the same one. This one looks a little darker. Oh, that's the cucumber. So I, um, and then I picked up two different pinks. I. I think in a previous video I showed Rose, was it the Brenda Gervais one, Winter Rose Manor, and um, I'm thinking of changing the color of the house when I eventually do it. And since I had to order floss, I picked um, two different types of, that I thought I might use. One is Charlotte's pink, and the other one is this one Charlotte's pink, and this one's Chablis. So depending on the um, fabric that I choose of how it will show up, I'll decide which one I use. And then I couldn't just not order a pattern. And this one was, I love this pattern. It's a puntini puntini, you wore my heart. And it comes with the buttons, the snowman's nose, and the heart that he's holding, um, the two buttons. And I love that. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed your time with me today. I have a lot to clean up here. It'll take me a while to download this um, ever since I got my new tablet here. I don't know if it's YouTube or my tablet, but it takes hours to um, upload the video onto YouTube. So, um, so I'm going to cut this out real right now and wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. 
and I'll see you maybe that Monday or Tuesday after and I'll show you my new starts what I've stitched on since and maybe I have a quilt that I stitched the top piece that I might um, stretch and pin ready to stitch um, but I won't make any plans definite plans on that yet but it's something I'm thinking about okay stay safe uh, I enjoyed my visit with you I hope you had the same time with me and I'll see you next time bye